Hey everybody, it's uh, Matt Paletti with uh, Pike in the Distance in 2021. Uh, doing another video about uh, kind of a simple product testing. And um, uh, what last video I was talking about a company in the UK called RG Hardy. And um, something else that I had gotten from them other than the water trap is this nifty little case for a practice channer. Um, what I like about this, so I never had one when I was learning, is that it comes with a couple different easy compartments and straps on the inside on the uh, left side if you're looking into it here there's a, a spot a, a zipper here where you can stick in um, uh, like if you have a tune book like uh, whether you're learning how to play or maybe um, something that you pick up at a at a games or um, from a vendor or something like that um, on the uh, right side here, we got um, another pocket where you can kind of keep some of your supplies, like you know your hemp for your practice channer, um, uh, maybe a metronome uh, or a tuner, uh, things like that. Uh, spare reeds, maybe. But speaking of reeds, what's kind of cool is this little pocket up here, up at the top. If I can get this out from upside down. Um, they give you this little container here so you can put your practice channer read in it. So you can completely break down um, your practice channer in here and make sure that everything's protected. So you haven't seen it quite yet, but there's straps here. Uh, so you can do that to separate the practice channer. And then you can, um, you know, when you separate it, you don't want the read exposed and then for it to break in here. So you can stick it inside this little pocket. And um, I actually got a uh, practice channer from RG Hardy. So Put that in here so you can kind of see it's pretty uh, simple. Um, this is their uh, twist trap uh, polypenko um, uh, practice channer. It's kind of cool. There's a take this off here. You might notice that there's no hemp uh, because there's this water trap in here that protects the reed, the uh, twist trap that they have. And then there's a couple different designs that they have. I uh, had a bit of a Celtic design put online. And um, so what you do is you take your case, take out your reed, put it in this little container, keep it nice and safe. It's not rattling around. It's not gonna get crushed or anything like that. And then uh, you'll see down here at the bottom, there's a, a wider uh, end bit. So if you have a practice channer with a sole at the end of it, um, not all of them have them, uh, but that will definitely fit, kind of stretches around it. And then you just got a bit of a Velcro strap up here, holds it nice in place. And then you just take your mouthpiece here, top part, so get in here, another Velcro strap, nice and secure. Get your uh, supplies, your tune book, zip it all up, little handle, nice and easy. Um, pretty simple, nice little uh, uh, accessory. Um, uh, typically when I learned, um, yeah, I either, you know, carried my practice channer here in the car, you know, making sure that, you know, nothing happened to it, um, which, uh, might as well just bring it up now in case you don't know, uh, you're not supposed to play this in a moving vehicle in case something happens, car accident, quick break, something like that, have that shoot up, hit the roof of your mouth, that's a no-no. Um, that's why they came up with things like, uh, electronic, uh, practice channers. So if you're going on a bus ride or something with a pipe band, or you're just going somewhere where you're not the driver, just be a little bit safer. Um, but again, um, it's a great little accessory. Um, if, whether you have a sole or you don't at the bottom of your practice channer, it fits in nicely. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I highly recommend it. It's uh, pretty cool. I'm trying to get a case for pretty much uh, every uh, practice channer, pipe, uh, shuttle pipes that I have. I just make sure everything is uh, contained, you know, whether you have dogs or cats or little kids in your house, you never know what might happen. So um, again, I think it's uh, pretty good and it was uh, pretty affordable. Um, I thought it would probably be about double of what it costs, but uh, 
a great price. Again, that's uh, from RG Hardy uh, over in the UK. I'll put a link in the uh, comments here. And um, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a message and uh, check back in here with you. Uh, check, check back in here with you soon.